guys, shalom. Okay, so this video is going to be um, one of many videos that I'm going to do. Um, I think I'm just going to have a series of these little videos here that I'm about to do. Um, and it's going to be about herbs, okay? Because that's pretty much the basis of what I do. I talk about herbs and health and so on and so forth. So, um, since you guys have a lot of questions about herb, a lot of people have a lot of questions about the herbs, and it's very difficult for me to talk about all the herbs in just one video. So I'm making it very simple for everyone because I know who a lot of us have very short attention span. Nobody wants to sit and watch a two hour video about herbs. You know, just herb, 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 herb. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and make each video short, right? Um, this is going to be the first of several. And um, I'm going to have at least, at least two videos. Uh, I'm sorry, at least two herbs in each videos where I'm going to go into the benefits of each of the herb that I'm showing you guys, okay? So... With that being said, I'm going to try and make this quick. Today I'm talking about two herbs, okay? And so let's see which one we're talking about first. So the first herb we're talking about here is saw palmetto. Where's my saw palmetto? This herb here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Or I'm going to show you guys what saw palmetto is. This is saw palmetto berries, okay? And I'm going to give you guys a little little story about about this. Um, usually when I talk about things on this channel or anywhere that you see me uh, talking about stuff, I usually talk, give you guys, I, I talk from experience or just experience, my experience or experience in my family or friends and so on and so forth. So, um, I have a younger sister and she lives in Jamaica. And um, several years ago, she, um, she, she was suffering from polycystic ovarian syndrome, um, PCOS, okay? Um, she, uterine fibroid, she had it all, okay? Um, my sister was literally, there were months where she would just bleed for months, nonstop, just bleed heavily. Um, I mean, there was a point where I I actually thought she was going to die because she was bleeding so much and it was I felt so helpless at the time you know I didn't really have the knowledge that I have now um this was years ago um she would call me and she, I I you know I could just hear the the fair in her voice she would just tell me what was going on and she's back and forth to the doctor and nobody knows what to do and um I have to say that that experience with my sister is really what just kind of just pushed me to to get into a lot of the things that I'm I'm talking about right now. Um, one of them being a female reproductive system. Um, you know, as it relates to PCOS, uterine fibroids, and so on and so forth. That experience right there is really, you know, uh, if you guys know that I talk, I talk a lot about um, PCOS and fibroids and so on and so forth, because um, she suffered. So, she, you know, um, I embarked on this thing where I just went into this research on the topic of PCOS and uterine fibroid, and then thank God... The most I put uh, Master Herbalist Patrick Delve in my path, okay, and um, I look, I you know, I learned so much from from that man. Um, he taught me so much, and you know, with this PCOS thing, um, I learned so much from him in regards to that. And so with that, I was able to help my sister. Um, so what I did was, one day I sent my sister some so a list of um, herbs that is used to treat um, PCOS and um, I just wanted her to stop bleeding because that's that wasn't good and so she's in Jamaica 
And a lot of the times people in Jamaica are not really familiar with the herbs that we have here in the United States. And so funny thing, I'm not sure if she got all of the herbs that I, that I recommend, but she did find quite a few of them. And, um, the Sa Palmetto, um, was one of the herbs that she, um, found. And it's funny how she found it. She didn't really quite know what it was at the time. And so, um, she did a little bit of research and funny thing, she happened to be walking, um, and she saw the plant in a neighbor's yard. She was just walking past and she saw the plant there and she called the neighbor and she asked the neighbor if she could have some of the plant and the neighbor go right ahead and she grabbed as much as she could and she took it home and long story short, um, it's been a few years now and my sister has not bled in years. She, um, you know, she hasn't bled at all. She, there was no symptoms of her illness. Um, she's good. Um, of course she had to make a change. It, this was not just taking some herbs and it all goes away. I spoke to her about her eating habit, her diet. So she did have to change her, her diet. She had to make a change on her diet. She had to give up a, quite a few things. Um, she never really liked cheese. She never ate cheese. Um, but there were things that she really had to give up. Uh, a lot of meat, um, anything with milk in there, processed food, and so on and so forth. So she did fix her diet. And she really, really dived into the herb. And she was very consistent with, with this regimen and that fresh saw plum meadow that she found in the neighbor's yard. And so, anyway, so she's good now. No more bleeding. So she's good. And I'm just so happy for that because I was scared to hell. <laughs> I was really, really was scared. So, um, so these, I don't know if you guys could see it. I don't want them to fall on the table. These are saw plum meadow berries. These are the berries of the saw plum meadow tree and um that's it right there so um a lot of you know i'm not a person that that like to take my herbs in powder some people sell these things in powder they crush your seed and turn it into powder as you can see i have the whole seeds here okay some people um smash the seeds up and you can take it that way as well and some people turn it into powder as you can see i get the seeds whole like it's just this, the whole seed that is dried that's it and i just boil them and drink the tea but um i have a combination of this herb that i take for my reproductive system so uh saw palmetto just happened to be one of several herbs that i take and that I recommend to my sister and anybody else who's suffering from PCOS and uterine fibroids. So I'm going to go down the list and tell you guys some of the benefit of this herb right here. Okay. Now, if y'all, y'all probably wouldn't believe this, but saw palmetto, um, no, it's not going to happen overnight, but saw palmetto helps to enlarge the boobs. Okay. <laughs> Y'all can go look it up. That's a fact. Uh, if you're a woman and you got a little small boobs, you know, hey, listen, I like my small boobs, but I'm just saying it does help. Um, that's one of the benefits of saw palmetto. It, it perks up the boobies, all right? It, it, it makes it a little bigger, okay? I'm not going to go into a whole scientific thing about that, but it, it does help to perks, perk up the boobs. Um... Saw palmetto also helps with the respiratory system. For those of you who are having stuff like asthma with the, you know, lung issue, saw palmetto helps with the respiratory system as well. And it helps to boost the immune system, all right? Men who are having prostate cancer, men who have prostate cancer, saw palmetto really help with prostate cancer. It is... Uh, actually, one of the herbs that um, is used in a co uh, as a combination uh, to help with prostate cancer. All right, in a, a, a formula. Okay. Um, now, 
one of the best thing about this herb is it helps to shrink things in the body. That's the key here. Okay. It is, it has shrinking abilities. That's the key. So, and, 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 and so that's what actually helped with my sister, uh, you know, my sister when she took it, because those growth in her uterus was causing her to bleed. And so the herbs get in there and they shrink, they shrink these things. So saw palmetto helps to shrink fibroid growth. That's the key. That's what it does. It also helps with pain. If you're having, um, obviously if you have PCOS, a lot of the times you pain comes along with it. So it eliminates the pain and it also helps with the circulation in the uterus. Okay. Because if you're having PCOS, it's very stagnant in there, very stagnant. So it gets in there and it helps with the circulation of the uterus. All right. So that's what it does. And like I said, the most important thing with this particular herb is it helps to shrink things, shrink growth. So if you have cancer at anywhere in your body, it helps to shrink growth, cancer or non-cancerous growth. It doesn't matter if you have anything growing in there in the body, saw palmetto will help to shrink it. So that is the key here, all right? That's what Sopal Meadow does. So, and I can talk about this herb because my sister, I mean, she's, she's you know, she's the, the, the testimony, uh, you know, she's the living testimony here. And not just, I mean, she didn't just use this one herb. It was a combination of different things, but this herb has a lot of the properties that helped her, all right? So that is... Sop on meadow. Okay. Now we're going to talk about now. I don't really like to, you know, promote people's company and business, but, um, cause I don't get paid to promote people's business, but I'm committed to helping you guys that have a lot of questions for me about these herbs. So, um, and I know when I talk about these herbs in these videos, you guys are constantly asking me, where do I find these herbs? Where do I get them? So I'm going to tell you guys, um, in a minute where I personally buy these herbs from. Okay. So, all right. The next herb is called red clover, red clover. If you guys can't see that, I poured some in this bowl here. So this is just um, the leaves and the flower from the red clover plant. All right. That's it right there. And I'm going to talk to you guys about this, this very wonderful herb right here. Okay. Ah, just like saw palmetto. You know, I like to write things down because... So many herbs in my head, it's hard to, you know, I get it all jumbled up sometimes. Red clover is very similar to um, saw palmetto. This herb right here is what I like to refer to, and a lot of people refer to as um, an anti-tumor herb. This herb shrink tumors, growth, anything that is growing in the body, whether it's um, cancerous or non-cancerous. You know, sometimes people go to the doctor and the doctor says, well, I found a growth somewhere and it's non-cancerous and we're going to, we're going to cut it out. You know, we're going to go in there and, and laser surgery or whatever it is. Um, or we find a cancerous growth somewhere. So what red clover does, this is a anti-tumor herb right here all right it helps to eliminate shrink tumor in the system okay any type of growth in the body so um people who are having um this herb is very good for the lymphatic system as well so if you're if you're having tumor in your in your breasts and the lymphatic system you know most people when they have breast cancer Unfortunately, if they had if they didn't catch it early enough, it spread to the lymphatic system. Um, this is a very good herb um, for the lymphatic system as well. Very good herb. So if you're having cancer in the lymphatic system, this right here, this right here. All right. 
um, eczema and leaky gut. A lot of people are having leaky gut and they think it's eczema. Eczema and leaky gut is, is, uh, is, is somewhat different, okay? Even, if, even though they're both, um, uh, you know, they affect the skin. Um, this right here, red clover again, if you are having trouble with the skin, um, like eczema or leaky gut, um, red clover is very good because this detoxifies the liver okay it detox the organs the, 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 the um, digestive organs this right here detox the organs and um, because when you're having skin issues understand that you're really not having a skin issue you're having an issue on the inside the liver the something is going on where the body is not the digestive organs are not functioning properly and so you have a buildup of toxins in there and it's affecting the skin you know if if something is going on in your stomach and the body is not able to eliminate the waste from your stomach the waste is going to find other places to go and sometimes it goes through the skin yes the skin okay sometimes a lot of the times people with asthma and leaky gut it's because your your digestive organs are not functioning well and so it uh, they're not like the liver for example is not able to do its job by eliminating the toxins from the system so what happened to those toxins they try to find other places to go and they try to go through the skin from the inside right so that's why you're getting the 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 itchy and the stuff going on in your skin because the toxin has nowhere to go so um if you are having those type of issues, again, red clover, it uh, helps with the elimination of toxin from the body. All right? A detox. Um, uterine fibroids and PCOS, as we talked about earlier with the saw palmetto. This right here. This herb and saw palmetto are among... Um, a group of herb that is used to treat uterine fibroids and PCOS. As you guys know, I have a couple of videos on that on, on this channel. Um, so it's a formula. You can't just take you can't just take red clover to get rid of uh, PCOS and uterine fibroid. And you can't just take saw take um, saw palmetto to get rid of uh, uh, um, uterine fibroid. All these herbs has to be combined together right and it's called a formula it's where they're all combined together because they all they each each of these herbs treat different things that's going on in your body okay some does uh, get rid of you know the excess uh, toxin in there help with circulation the other ones might help with the shrink you know to shrink the tumor the other one might help um, you know to get rid of the excessive estrogen and so on and so forth so each herb has different um, properties that helps with different things and it has to be combined to really really clean it up in there and get rid of that problem okay so ovarian uh, you know uh, cysts you know fibroids PCOS if you are suffering from those things ladies with PCOS red clover is one of several herb that is used to treat that this herb again it is a anti-tumor anti-growth herb so if you have anything growing in there this is the this is one of the herbs to use it shrink things remember that very important it shrink things in the body that's the key all right so sister Malika, where do I find these herbs oh you know what let me I forgot about this ladies if you are um, a little older and you're going through menopause, we don't want to leave out, uh, you know, the elders. I know a lot of elders are going through menopause. Red clover. Red clover. And there's another herb called motherworth. Okay, motherworth. So, formula. That's a part of the formula. Motherworth, red clover. Yes, 
All right. So if you're going through menopause and you're having the symptoms, the hot flashes and so on and so forth. But the diet is the key, ladies. The diet is the key. If you're if you're going through menopause and you you're you're eating your you're drinking you know your cow's milk. You get up every day and you drink your milk and you know you're eating all that. Um, uh, your your sandwiches with uh, with cheese and you're eating bread and you're eating all this stuff that you know is not good. What you're doing is you're feeding your your symptoms. You're feeding the problem. That's what you're doing when you don't change your diet. And just just because you're taking some herbs doesn't mean anything. If you're not changing your eating habit, none of these things are going to work. None of these herbs are going to work for you. None of them is going to work if you don't address your diet. So let's, that's it. Let's just, just, um, I'm keeping it real. None of this is going to work. So address your diet. If you're a woman and you're going through menopause, don't think that you're just going to take some herbs and you're going to get rid of your hot flashes. It's not going to work that way. You have to address your diet. Okay. Stop eating all the junk the candy, the sugary stuff, because that's, what, that's, that's what's causing your problem. You know, as your body change, there's certain things you just can't eat anymore because it's contributing to the problem, all right? So, Monica, where do I find these herbs? I don't know where to find them. I know, I, I get the same questions all the time. So, and I always say, I don't like to promote people's business because they ain't paying me to do that, okay? But, um, so this is where I've, I, I'm going to tell you guys where I found, found these herbs. Uh, what I do, what I do when I shop for herbs, I like to test the herbs, okay? I buy them, small amount first, and I test them. I test the potency of the herbs, okay? That's what I like to do. I get it in small quantities first, and I like to test the potency. I make tinctures with them, and I make teas with them. And I test the potency. And um, so there's this um, this business that I order my herbs from, and the potency of their herbs is pretty, pretty, pretty damn good. Okay, I make a lot of tincture with their herbs. Um, I've tried quite a lot of their herbs, and I the potency is is like I said is is very good. So I'm going to tell you guys where I get. Um, a lot of my herbs from all right there is a website called um grassroot botanicals i think i'm just gonna put the name somewhere in the video i don't know maybe down in the box you guys are always asking me to put it in the description box so maybe i'll throw it down there um let me show you guys so this is their can you guys see that grassroot botanicals so that's that's their um thing um so i'll write that down in the video when i'm done with it um so that's where i got most of these herbs from um for the reproductive um blend so i'm not going to get into uh, much more of it like i said i'm going to try and make this video very short uh, we're into 24 minutes already um so that's it guys that's it so we'll talk later. All right. Shalom. By the way, if you're watching this video and you happen to like the content, if you happen to like the channel, the content on this channel, you know, just give us a thumbs up. You know, give, give us sister some support. Give us a thumbs up. All right. That let me know that you guys appreciate what I'm doing. Okay. Just give the videos a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? I mean, come on, I'm, I'm here for you guys, okay? All right, bye, shalom.